Jupiter Ascending. So going into Jupiter Ascending, I didn't really have too much hope for the film. It got delayed like six months or something. It was supposed to come out last summer, but it comes out now because of I. I think someone said special effects. Yes, I had like a thousand special effects to the to the film or something like that. But it probably got delayed because it sucks ass, and most of this film does suck ass. This film is not without credit. I mean, the only real good thing about this film, if there is anything good about it. Are pretty much the action sequences like they are over the top and they are ridiculous but you can't help but sit back and think not say it looks impressive it, it looked good it you can't say it's not boring but it's just again it's the only really good thing about this film so let's talk about the acting the acting was more or less serviceable i mean they've got myla kunis and she plays myla kunis in this film she's literally the same role she has, she plays in every other film she's ever been in then you have uh, Channing Tatum, who's really stoic and really emotionless. He's kind of like Aaron Taylor Johnson in Godzilla, but an albino with big ears and an alien who can like surf gravity and pretty badass at fighting as well. We'll say that he was badass at fighting. Then you got an extended cameo from Sean Bean himself. I know that's not really saying too much, but Sean Bean's in it. Then you have the creme de la creme. You have Eddie Redmayne now. Okay, Eddie Redmayne has just been nominated for the Academy Award for Best Actor for The Theory of Everything and I saw The Theory of Everything and I thought it was actually really good, probably the best part about the film. But going from The Theory of Everything to Jupiter Ascending, really? I mean I know that he filmed Jupiter Ascending before Theory of Everything, I think he did anyway. Well Jupiter Ascending was supposed to come out before Theory of Everything, but now thanks to this being delayed and now being put in February just before the Oscars, holy Christ, I mean Eddie Redmayne he was so bad in this film oh my god he plays like the main villain and you know like in the trailer where he talks like i want you to bring her to me the earth is mine he talks like that throughout the entire film or at least the parts of the film he's in he's not even in the film that much and he's the villain and he's hardly in the film i think if you combine all the times on screen i say about 20 minutes of screen time out of a two hour film really adds up doesn't it Plus the plot was all over the place, like I was watching this film and I was like, okay, they're on this spaceship, but who exactly are the bad guys? Are these guys bad guys? Are they bad guys? You don't really follow the story. Well, at least I couldn't follow the story anyway. So I was, I just I had no idea what was happening. Channing Tatum's like zooming past guards in his little anti-gravity boots and I'm just trying to follow the story. I'm just like, I just want to see explosions now. That's all I want to see is just ships battling ships and things blowing up that's all i want to see true story as well every time i go watch a film at the cinema i really don't like going to the toilet during it because i don't like feeling like i've wasted my money paying what is quite a bit for a film ticket i mean this one was six pounds 65 that's because it were after five o'clock but i paid that much to see a film and i don't like really missing what i've paid for but in this film I, did, I needed to go to the toilet, so I just went. I just went because it was like a Myla Kunis, Channing Tatum bonding part. And then when I got back, things were happening and stuff were blowing up and yeah. So in the end, Jupiter Ascending, yes, it does have some cool action and that's it. The rest of it, the acting is blah, especially from Eddie Redmayne. He was just, mm, he was awful in this film. I really, he was. The story's just really just convoluted and messy hard to follow and it's just a ridiculous over the top mess with some cool action though so i'm going to give jupiter ascending a two out of five what did you think about it i want to know your thoughts whatever your thoughts are put them down there and guys thanks very much for watching and if you like this video and you want to see more from me then click right here to do the subscribe thing